we've got a very large stand this year because we see the Czech Republic as well as the region of having lots of opportunities in the defence and the security uh, arena. Uh, so we're here to exhibit um, and show our customers from the region our different products and capabilities. The CV90 is the most advanced infantry fighting vehicle available in the market today. It's in service with six and another one coming on Estonia this year, seven European countries. So it's a proven platform, a proven vehicle. It's in service with many other countries within Europe and NATO. So should the Czech Republic and Poland and other countries choose this vehicle, you've got uh, the advantages of joint training, pooling and sharing of spares and uh, through life logistical support. We have uh, rubber tracks on this vehicle which you won't have on a BMP type vehicle. Better mobility and uh, the ability to move quickly. Uh, it's a much better ride for the uh, personnel inside the vehicle. Uh, the, the vehicle doesn't vibrate so much so you don't have to replace products uh, and items inside so frequent. So all those advantages are part of this modern type of vehicle. The Czech Republic, like many of the Eastern European countries, have modernization programs. So therefore they're trying to replace their old former Soviet equipment, which is outdated, with new modern uh, Western equipment. We believe it will meet their future BMP2 uh, replacement program, which we expect uh, a requirement to come out within the next year or two. This is our Commander SL Radar. It's in service with the Royal Air Force in the UK. Um, it, it, as you can see, it's a, it's a large radar, it's an air defence radar. And the reason it's here at IDET this year is because in the Czech Republic and Slovakia, there are requirements to replace their existing old and obsolete uh, radar systems. This is state-of-the-art uh, radar, S-band radar. Um, much more advanced technically than the, the existing radars that are in service. And uh, we are expecting a requirement from the military in Czech Republic and Slovakia to be released very shortly uh, to go to international tender.